Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this kid's kite, and I'm going to be specifically showing you how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is get it out, unfold your kite like we've done here, and you can see some of the pieces that it comes with that aren't already in there. Some of the pieces you do need to do things with, but they're already inside the kite. You've got two straight tail pieces, one spiral tail piece, you've got a couple of sticks over here to use, and then your string, and then you can see that there are pieces in here that need to be attached. So the second step in the instructions, is to connect the diagonal ramp and fix the bottom of the kite's bottom corners. And Jeff is going to demonstrate that for you. Okay, so the way it has it come is this little piece is in here, but it's disconnected so that it can fold up, right? So you're going to unfold it, and then you're just going to push this little piece in here and connect it. You can't really see, but you'll guide it into the little hole that is the other piece, and then make sure it gets in there. Move it around till you get it in there. The other piece looks like this, and then you're going to just find that hole in there and push it in so it, it meets that. Okay. And then when you get that in, you'll just kind of push it in so that this rubber piece or plastic end piece goes into the kite so that it doesn't fall out when you're flying it miles up into the sky. So you're just slipping that inside that little Yep, it takes a right little there. bit there, but yep, you just get it right on it there. Perfect. And you'll do the same thing to this side, see how it's folded there. Um, so you just do the same thing, you push it over, find the little hole, smooth it around to get it in there, slide in, and then that plastic piece at the end, the plastic rubber piece, whatever it is, will go into the fabric. And by the way, as I'm doing this, this is a, seems like a very, uh, uh, ripstop fabric. So, um, it is not going to rip very easily. Um, yeah, it feels kind of tear resistant. Yeah. It's, it's a ripstop, uh, kind of fabric. It's not a super high quality ripstop, but, um, it is, it's, you know, going to be hard to rip it. So it should take some pretty good wind. Um, these guys seem like they're fiberglass. So they should be able to bend and take, uh, withstand uh, some of the wind as well. But, you know, they are kind of thin. So it's time will tell and, you know, as high as you go and the harder the wind is, um, you'll see if it, uh, if it actually lasts. But anyway, that's step number two is to do that. Okay. Um, and then uh, step three. is connecting the vertical ramp, fix the upper part onto the kite's upper corners, fix the bottom corners onto the kite's bottom middle point. So, um, right here is your middle point. So you're gonna fix this. Again, it's going to push all the way up to the top, okay? Into the little hole up here, okay? And, Actually, sorry, it's going to have to pull out. Oops. It'll pull the whole way out. I'm trying to... You're going to get this piece on there as well, but it has to go in, in there. So, this one's... Keep it in and then attach it. So just while he's figuring that out, to show you in the instructions, there is a packaging list um, where they're all able, labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, um, but none of these pieces actually have any kind of letter label on them, so you kind of have to figure it out. Now, the obvious ones are going to be your straight tail and your spiral tail, um, but as far as like your diagonal ramps and your vertical ramp and your horizontal ramps and things like that, you just have to look at the kite and be able to figure that out. So um, it's not completely clear on the instructions. Um, so that's why we are demonstrating today how to put this together. But there aren't too many pieces or too many steps to the process. All right, we'll go ahead and pause this until I can get this up here. And okay. Okay, so here we are at step three, and it's a little bit confusing with the wording. It says, connect the vertical ramp, this piece that's going up here, right, that Jeff's holding. Yep. Connect the vertical ramp, so you put those two pieces together. Fix the upper part in the kite's upper corners. 
Fix the bottom corners onto the kite's bottom middle point as pictured. And here's the picture. So I don't, yeah, it's, it's not very bit, clear. It's a little bit confusing. Um, and I kind of put it together just to see what would be best. It does have this sleeve that it looks like both ends go into. Right. And the way this comes, this long piece comes already in the sleeve. Um, but the problem is, is when it hits that point up there, you can see that there's the, the, the gap to then put in the other one. But see, that doesn't really line up to be able to put. So there's no way there for that bottom there's, piece to get in just, the sleeve. There's no way unless you really bend it, and it's at a point where you can't really bend that. Yeah. Maybe if it was up here, maybe bend, but I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't make it very easily done. So. Um, best thing that I can think of is, is either cut another slit there where you can get it in and maybe cut off a little section, um, if that's what you want to do. Um, but best part that I can think of is to get this back in there into the, so slide into, into that the, corner and then pocket. There is an outside pouch on this one, just like there. So get that and then you just bend like I said it's a little fiberglass of glass seems like so yes it is. so that's a little bit more sturdy than leaving it out there is an outside pouch on this one too mm -hmm. so you could take it out just put it through this loop which this loop is used for the cross connect as well but you could do that but it is a little bit more flimsy so I found that putting it in putting the top one in this one and then the bottom one outside at least it's not as flimsy. It seems as if they should be inside that casing. It it's just not possible to do with both pieces. Right. So I think Jeff's right that the best way to do is to have the larger piece firmly in there and then um, the smaller piece just tucked in the corner and exposed there. Or You can't you really, really see it in the picture. If you so. really want to get it, uh, which what I'll probably do myself, is just cut, cut this out, this little opening just for this silver piece sorry i'm probably blocking it this silver piece mm -hmm. i would just take scissors cut up there to that one so that there's an opening and then slide the smaller piece in there and put it in and then the only thing outside is the silver connector piece and that's probably what i'll do um to make it even more sturdy can you remove this here or is it glued in that's glued in okay so anyway once you get that whether you want to do it this way or the way i just said cut cut the slit there um, you got that. And then you take the last two pieces. They're mm -hmm. just another connector piece. So this is step four here. Yep. They go into these the horizontal plastic, ramp, these plastic pieces that are sticking out in the corners mm -hmm. or on the sides. Oh, they go through this little loop and then it just connects to one side and then bend it a little bit and it connects to that side. And then you're all done. And then you put the tail on down here on this little loop and each tail comes with you know a, a little connector here it's not the strongest thing in the world but you know as long as you don't have like a super strong wind which I really don't know if this kite will stand up to a super super strong wind but um, it does catch wind obviously but as you can see it, does, it should it because it's light bit. it's lightweight material and made of strong materials so you've got the fiberglass yep um, to give it some bend and give, um, and then it, that fabric is a nylon fabric, so yeah. with triple stitching. So anyway, so you just take the little connector pieces that are on each one of the tails, put it through there, clip it back on. Very tough. You know it's not going to fall off, right? <laughs> yep. So you just pick which tail you like to put on. The spiral or straight. We've got three different. If you're handy, you might want to switch these out. Maybe something a little bit more easier to put on and off, but still strong. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to hurt your fingers, but well, I may have already bent Where's the, button the connector hole? piece a little bit, so I can't get it back in. But like I said, this is just you know looks like some nylon string, so it looks like you might be able to just. I'll pop this on, maybe put on something that's easier to fasten and, like I said, just, just as good. Um, you seems... also need to put the line on the buttonhole. Yep, I will get there. So anyway, um, like I said, it looks like it 
bent a little bit there so I can get this fastened back on. But that's what you would do. Um, and looks like it's pretty easy to bend back. But then the string, you got this piece here, and you got a little loophole at the top. You'll tie the string in there, tie a good knot so that it doesn't come loose and fly off somewhere. And then you got yourself a kite. And here is part. your string spool, yep. and, and you've got, got a good grip quite, handle. Yeah. you got a good handle, quite a bit of string, mm -hmm. so this thing is going to go flying quite high. And like I said, you, know, you can see here, there's a lot of bend, so it will take, take the wind and it will bend quite a bit. As you can see, I mean, it's bending quite a bit, so it should be able to take quite a bit of, of wind force. Um, you know, like I said, you'll see as... As you get it up there, the higher you go and um, the more wind force you get. Um, so it's definitely, all these materials are really lightweight. Very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Thin, very lightweight, but it definitely, as you can see, definitely catching the air. So it should easily fly. Yeah. Not a problem. So we haven't been able to take this one outside because we have been having snowstorms and rain and... Uh, weather that's very, very cold, like six degrees, and it just hasn't been perfect kite flying weather for us. So we really wanted to get this flying tonight to show in a video, but we haven't been able to do it due to the weather. But um, any day that there is a nice breeze going, we should be able to get this one airborne and flying around. So um, a little confusing with the instructions, the pictures aren't very, very clear. Um, they don't seem like specific to what they're saying. Um, the packaging list where it describes the pieces and labels them A, B, C, D, um, the, the letters are kind of irrelevant on the instructions because none of the pieces are actually labeled. So you still have to figure those out anyway. And then um, the wording isn't very, very clear. There's some that have similar steps that are just worded differently in one spot than another. So it was a little confusing. And then just this casing, like we were talking about, the places that it was cut, uh, didn't really make sense for slipping the pieces in. So a little bit of, it should be a really simple put together kite, but just because of some of the wording things and that little hang up really on that vertical ramp um, made it kind of confusing where you had to just call your own shop with what you're going to do with it. But I mean, the way that we've put it together, it seems like it's going to be just fine and fly. So um, hopefully this video has been helpful for you in piecing together this kite in case you're a little confused with the instructions like we were originally. And that's been your closer look at this kid's kite. And as you can see, it is trimmed in black so you can see it when it's flying very high in the sky. And it also has this nice rainbow color design. Um, the spiral tail is really nice on this one too. Um, so that's a cool little design there. And then I don't know if we showed you up close the two straight tails that come with it as well. So you've got your choice of tails that you can put on there. So you've got kind of like a tie-dyed rainbow one. And then you've got this one that is just plain blue and red. So bright colors that your kids should love. And yeah, let's go fly a kite as soon as the rain stops.